Hi, this is Julie with Bita Halik, and in this video, I want to teach you how to make this pair of earrings. And this is a pair of crystal earrings combined with this wonderful resin. It's a colorful resin. This is by Zola Elements. So the crystal we're using is Swarovski crystal. The earring finding is by Gita Jewelry. And then the actual focal here, which is so cool, is by Zola Elements. So this is what we're calling colorful resin. And you can see it is very colorful. And what's nice is you can pick out other stones to really make certain colors pop in it. Like this one you can even pair a red with. And it comes in a variety of shapes. And some of these are links and some of these are little pendants or drops. It also comes in this great blue as well as a more classic tortoise shell type design. So really quick before I actually show you how to make this pair of earrings, I just wanna show you a couple of these pieces because we've been having so much fun combining them. So you see that we have this little drop here. Now this has a single hole up at the top, but there's actually the same size with two holes. So it becomes a link. So you could just go like that and make a little tiered pair of earrings. Same with this bigger round. There's ovals. There's these great little sticks. So they have, it's gonna be really hard to see here, but they have a little hole drilled in them as well. So very easy to just create almost like this resin fringe. And then there's ovals, there's these little rectangles, these big circles. And with these big circles, they actually don't have any holes, but you can easily connect them together with jump rings, even create a fun chain. And then these huge rectangles with the cutouts, which we just love. If you look at all of those colors coming into play, then there's the blue and the tortoise shell. Okay, let's make this earring because it's really very simple to do. For the tools, you're gonna need two pairs of chain nose pliers to be able to open and close that jump ring and a regular old popsicle stick to set your stone down into the Gita jewelry setting. I am gonna be using the Peony Pink Swarovski Chaton in SS39. I wanna show you though how great I feel like the Burgundy Delight would work or the Blush Rose. So a couple different options there, but I did go with the bright pink because I wanna pull out that little bit of pink in this colorful resin. This is what we're calling garden party. So you can find it at beetaholic.com and it will be listed under garden party. Okay, how do you do this? We're gonna set our stone first. You see that this setting has these prongs. We are just going to pop in our chaton and we're gonna take our popsicle stick and we're gonna hold our chaton in place and we're gonna bend over one of the prongs just by pressing on it. And then we're gonna to go to the opposite side. So we're gonna go diagonal across. And we're gonna bend over that prong. And now we're gonna to go to the one next to it. Bend it over. And I'm using some pressure, but not a ton, because I'm gonna go back and reset all these. This is just to really anchor my stone in place to begin with. So I don't want it sliding around. Now that I've got these all somewhat curved over, I'm gonna go back and really add more pressure and press that down. Because I don't want to snag on anything. I want to make sure that stone is really set in there. And I'm just going from the side and I'm even pushing up rolling a little bit. And the popsicle stick is made of a nice wood so it's not going to scratch the top of your crystal. All right, this guy's, I think this guy's done. He's set. So now, I'm gonna find the side here with a hole. Now these large ovals just have that single hole up at the top and I'm gonna be using a six millimeter oval jump ring. To open it, we're just gonna grab it and grab both sides with the opening up top and we're gonna open it. I'm gonna actually open this one pretty wide because I need to get through this nice piece of resin like so. And then I'm gonna take the little loop at the base of my Gita setting I'm gonna go back, grab the jump ring and bring it together so it's closed. And we're good to go. So now we've got this really fun pair of earrings and this is a very on-trend look. We are seeing this in a lot of boutiques, we're seeing this in a lot of fashion magazines and it's great to be able to make this so quickly and so easily yourself. So please do check out beetaholic.com for everything you see here, as well as all the different pieces are in the two other colors of this wonderful resin. And then of course we've got more Gita findings or a lot you can do with it. And we've created a lot of other inspiration projects using these pieces because we've just been having too much fun with it. So I hope you enjoyed this very quick tutorial and please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoyed it. 
and also go to betaholic.com to find more free tutorials and projects.